No, no, I know, I know. I promise you sweet potato salad today, but we had a chance to get Harold here, and you don't miss a chance to get Harold on if you can. Oh, it's uh, getting to be close to Oktoberfest time, and I always like to come visit you during that time. I believe in Oktoberfest. Did you know that? Well, tell, tell us about this this pot roast you've got here. Well, it's uh, called Sauerbraten, and it's known as the Cadillac of the, the German uh, marinated beef. And it is wonderful. Now, you started with a... It's a top uh, or bottom round. Round roast. Uh-huh, and you put it in the oven. Roast it. Roast it, and then it make, gets marinated about three or four days. Three or four in, days in the refrigerator with what's in the marinade? It's uh, wine, vinegar, mm -hmm. vinegar, and uh, pickling spice, mm -hmm. cloves, mm -hmm. and uh, some onions. Some onions. Mm -hmm. And that marinates in the refrigerator for three or four days. You yes. slice that baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, make some gravy. Mm -hmm. Gravy's a good thing. Isn't oh it? yeah. And uh, serve that with. Uh, well, we in, on our on our menu we serve it with uh, red cabbage and uh, German potato dumplings. Now Harold, and I brought some along. Harold, being the wonderful person that he is, uh, is going to let you in on a secret about how you can have red cabbage and potato dumplings. Ancient German secret. Ancient German secret. That's called. Food, food City. Food City. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to Food City, and in I didn't know about Gatlinburg, this. In Gatlinburg. In Gatlinburg. Yeah. But I bet they have them in some other food cities, too. That Gatlinburg store is wonderful. Yes. I love it. Uh, and you can buy potato dumplings ready to drop in the water. Are they frozen? Uh, no, they, they're dry. They're, and just ready to drop in the water. For about 15 minutes to cook them. And they've got a little paper covering that keeps them from falling apart. You peel that off, mm -hmm. and you're ready to eat potato dumplings. Re ready to eat. I tried to make potato dumplings once, and they were tougher than... They were tough. Mm -hmm. Th that's not a good thing to do, is it? Go to Food City and buy them. And the red cabbage, also from Food City? Yes. You're g a good man, Harold. I don't also, care what they, they say. They have great meats, too. Good. They really do. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the book. Well, this is a, is a German recipe book, but it has also other kind of recipes, uh, just some good eating. Well, now, let me let me mention that, too. You don't have to eat German if you come to Old Heidelberg, do you? That's true. We have a German, Swiss, American food entrees, and uh, we have a wonderful chicken alpine that is made with uh, cheese over Ooh, the chicken. Oh, That's great. Look at the centerpiece. Miss Ann's still been hard at work. Uh, she just does all right. Now you'll notice some elements from yesterday in there. Some of those onions, but look at the butterfly. The butterfly is made of jicama with some carrot What's tucked jicama? in. Jicama is like a Mexican potato apple thing. Oh. Now that, look folks. Well that, oh. If Harold hadn't dropped by, we'd have made sweet potato salad. Look at that. You can write <laughs> and get the sweet potato salad recipe. Oh, okay. And uh, go to the website and get it at www. And we'll have all the information about Harold's good recipes in next week's recipes and website. Now we're running out of time. When were you going to do the chicken dance today? Is what I want to. Uh, know. Right now, stand back. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching WBLT Volunteer TV News at noon. We'll see you back here at 5:30.